Well, remember those cyber attacks on three government departments we told you about earlier this year? Well, tonight, CBC News has learned the attacks also extended to several prominent Bay Street law firms. As Greg Weston reports, the cyber attacks were apparently all linked to China and all targeting a multi-billion dollar takeover bid of a Canadian company. What we have seen, this is probably one of the largest attacks. Daniel Tobak is an international cybercrime expert. His company was called in when foreign hackers hit some of Canada's most prestigious law firms. These tools that we use. He says the hackers were the same cyber thieves who stole confidential government information in a massive attack on federal computers last fall. There were certain things about those attacks that had a certain signature on it that uh, makes it connected. And they were all after the same thing, inside information on one of the largest corporate takeover bids in Canada's history. They were harvesting information for a particular purpose, is to gain intelligence on let it be the deal or, or who is involved. That deal was immense, a $38 billion bid for Saskatchewan-based Potash Corp. The suitor, Australian mining giant BHP Billiton. Unfortunately, everybody that had some kind of a connection Got, aff got affected in one way or another. The Federal Departments of Finance and Treasury and the Defense Research Agency all had their computers hacked a year ago. Tabak says seven Bay Street law firms were also hit. Tabak believes five of them were decoys to mask the real targets, the two law firms involved in the potash deal. CBC News asked both firms to comment. Steichman Elliott gave us this statement. We cannot comment on client matters specifically but can say that we are not aware of any compromised client information as a result of our systems being breached. And in an almost identical statement, Blake Castles and Graydon said, while we do not comment on client matters, we are not aware of any compromise of client information as a result of any attempt to breach our systems. Cybersecurity experts say there's no evidence the hackers penetrated confidential files of other clients of the law firm. Tobak says the cyber attacks originated in China and must have taken more than a hundred hackers to carry out. China is one of Potash Corporation's biggest customers and was reportedly against the BHP takeover. It has to be uh, state-sponsored. That has the resources, has the, the funds and, and, so, and, and intelligence. Wendy, the Harper government ultimately killed the Potash deal, declaring the company and its resource a strategic asset to Canada. The mystery remains how much information hackers stole in this country's worst ever cyber attack. So they were able to hack into computers of large law firms. What, what about us? What should Canadians take out of this? Well, Wendy, obviously the security of our computers at home are no match for people who can hack into federal government departments and Bay Street law firms. The good news is that in these types of cyber crimes, the per perpetrators are far more interested in multi-billion dollar deals. Thanks, Greg. Great story. Greg Thanks, Weston. Wendy.